Hi everybody. I was looking around for a video that shows an, um, an easy way to figure out how the propellers go on the Parrot Bebop 2. This is the Bebop 2 FPV, but I believe it's the same thing as the Parrot Bebop 2. So uh, as you know, the drone comes with these little colored caps on them. But what happens if you're out in the field and you forget them or they get lost over time because these stickers on the propellers do tend to fall off eventually. Um, I've still got all mine. I was keeping, I was being very diligent about keeping them. But now that I know this little suggestion here, I don't have to do that anymore. So let's pull the drone out. We'll pull out a couple of the props. I'm just going to use two of them for now just to show the demo here. And my battery aside. Okay, so here's the drone with the props. And if you have these little stickers and caps on them, um, then you know which ones go where. But let's say they get lost accidentally. Things are flying. Sorry about this. this is a new way of me filming here. I haven't done it before this way. So stickers are lost. They've blown away in the wind last time I was out. So I have no idea where they go. Okay, so generally speaking, the colored propellers go on the front of the drone and the black propellers go on the back. That's just a standard way of uh, Parrot doing this. That way you know which way your drone is flying. Um, of course, your app also tells you that, but this is just a good way to know. So colored props go on the front of the drone. The black props go on the back. If you get them backwards with what I'm going to show you now, it really doesn't matter. It's still going to fly. So, as you may have seen in other videos, or you may not have, notice the two propellers here. This one has a hole in the middle. This one does not have a hole in the middle. Notice that again. There's a hole drilled in the middle of this one, no hole in this one. So let's come down to the drone itself. If you look down here at this motor, the motor shaft actually protrudes out of the out of the mount here sticks out about a sixteenth of an inch this one doesn't it's flush so this motor shaft is flush this one sticks out well if you think about it the hole works with the one that sticks out and it won't actually that one will work on either side but this one won't this one if I try and put it on the the shaft here and press it down it doesn't go down far enough to turn these screws and if I try and force it, I'm going to end up hurting this thing. So let me go ahead and get a little closer with this. So maybe you can see that. See how the screws don't extend out past the plastic? That's because this propeller without the hole is hitting that shaft and it's holding it up. So let me take that off. Sorry, I've got a tripod here. It's all goofy, but anyways, you're going to get the idea here. So on this one, when I press it down, the screws protrude out the top. So now I can use the tool to tighten that up. And that's because this one, the motor shaft is flush. Notice there's no silver sticking up in the middle of that motor there. But if you look at this one, if I can find it. The shaft is sticking up in the middle of that one. So that's how you do it out in the field, or if you've lost your, your uh, handy dandy little plastic or uh, stickers and rubber things, and just know that the one with a hole goes with the shaft that sticks up. And if I were to make a mistake forward and back, which again, you probably don't want to do that because you want to be able to remember how to do these, or which you want to remember which way it's flying. It would still work over here. It still has the correct rotation. And in this case, actually, it rotates this way. Um, but it would still fly correctly in this case. So again, put them on the front, colored ones, whether you have white, what is it, white, red, maybe there's a blue, I don't remember. But anyways, the colored ones on the front, black ones on the back. Propeller with a hole goes with the shaft that sticks up. Propeller without a hole goes with the shaft that's flush. And that's it. Real easy way to remember it now out in the field, so I don't have to worry about those stickers and rubber things anymore. Alright guys, I hope this helped. See you later. Bye.